Jaime Jaquez Jr. has quickly exposed many NBA GMs who passed on him. Butler for three. Popped out. Rebound. Jaquez Jr. Love fakes the three. Back to Larry inside. Jaquez! And it's thanks to the efforts of his parents in molding his game after one particular NBA legend. First, let's check out the Jaquez basketball lineage. Number 7. Jaime Jaquez Jr.'s Early Life Born in Irvine, California on February 18, 2001, Jaquez grew up in the family business, meaning his paternal grandfather, Ezekiel, who came to California with his family from Mexico as a child, played at Ventura Community College and Northern Arizona University, while his parents, Angela and Jaime Sr., met while playing basketball at Concordia University. This makes Jaquez a third-generation baller. He grew up alongside his younger brother, Marcos, and younger sister, Gabriela. His younger brother became a defensive lineman for Camarillo High's football team, while his sister followed the family's footsteps into basketball. In fact, Gabriela shared MVP honors at the 2022 McDonald's All-American Girls Game and committed to joining the UCLA women's basketball team as part of its 2022-2023 freshman class. When Jaquez was born, the doctors were shocked by his size. At birth, he weighed 10 pounds, 3 ounces. By comparison, the other babies looked like little dolls. Right away, his father gave him the nickname Jaimito, which means Little Jaime. Quite ironic, considering that he is the biggest member of the family now. Growing up, basketball wasn't the only sport that Jaquez played. He tried his hand at baseball and soccer, but eventually, basketball ended up taking a hold of him. Number 6. Basketball Obsession Nowadays, Jaquez is known for his passionate basketball play, but it wasn't always like that. It took him a while to find his passion for the sport. In fact, his father would aggressively coach him as a kid and even make him listen to Jay Bilas' audiobook on resilience, hoping that would stir something inside of Jaquez. His father understood how volatile and difficult it is to become a professional basketball player, so he wanted to do his best to make sure that his son was ready for all of the ups and downs. He did not spare Jaquez from the harsh critiques he might hear at higher levels. Even Jaquez's mother played a role in developing his mindset. His mother was known for never backing down. In fact, players from the men's team asked her to join them for pickup games because they knew that she was tough and could handle the physicality. And sure enough, thanks to the combined effort of both parents, Jaquez began to come out of his shell and embrace the grit and grind that his parents were trying to instill in him. As a sophomore, Jaquez earned all Ventura County second team honors, averaging 24.1 points, 10.9 rebounds, 2.2 assists, and 2.6 steals per game, despite missing 12 games with an ankle injury. But he had his breakout year as a senior. He averaged 31.7 points, 11.7 rebounds, 3.7 assists, and 2.1 steals per game, and helped the team finish 25-4 and, and win its first Coastal Canyon League title. He earned first-team All-CIF Southern Section honors and finished his high school career with 2,653 points. Jaquez broke the school's single-game scoring record with a 54-point outing against Royal High School. And he did all of this while pitching for the school's baseball team. No wonder Jaquez got into his dream college program. Number 5. Journey to the NBA Jaquez was actually recruited to UCLA when he was just a junior. Since that point, Jaquez didn't bother checking any other colleges, as he had always dreamed about playing for UCLA. Jaquez had a successful freshman year and was even named honorable mention Pac-12 All-Freshman Team. The highlight of his freshman year was when he hit the game-winning three-pointer with 0.6 seconds remaining in a 75-72 win over Arizona State. The following year, he was a second-team All-Pac-12 selection and was named to the Pac-12 All-Defensive Team. He even helped his squad reach the Final Four, but UCLA eventually lost to Gonzaga. His 2021-2022 season started rough as he battled with ankle injuries. He suffered from synovitis in one ankle and had to begin wearing braces on both ankles as a preventative measure. 
Despite the early setbacks, Jaquez persevered and was named the Pac-12 Player of the Year after averaging 28.5 points on 64% shooting, along with 7.5 rebounds as the Bruins clinched the number two seed in the Pac-12 tournament. Jaquez was named to the All-Pac-12 first team and was voted again to the conference's defensive team. He was one of five finalists for the Julius Irving Award given to the top small forward in the country. However, Jaquez's promising year was cut short due to even more ankle injuries. In the end, he needed surgery in April to remove bone spurs from his right ankle. This also caused him a delay in going to the NBA and returning to UCLA for his senior year. Jaquez picked up where he left off as he was named a finalist for the Julius Irving Award in 2022-2023. He was named a consensus second-team All-American and received the Lute Olsen Award as the College Player of the Year. Jaquez was voted the Pac-12 Player of the Year, becoming the first Bruin to win since Kevin Love in 2008 and the first UCLA senior to capture the award since Ed O'Banion in 1995. He ended his career ranked 8th in UCLA history in career scoring, 1,802 points and 178 career steals, and 9th in total games played, 134. After a successful college career, Jaquez set his sights on the NBA and would go on to be drafted by the perfect team. Number 4. NBA Career the draft process for Jaquez was a tricky one. In terms of talent, many believed he could be a lottery pick, but due to his age, Jaquez ended up slipping to the 18th spot. But still, he would be the only Pac-12 player selected in the first round as the Miami Heat picked him up. Although he went later than he expected, the Heat culture would end up being a perfect match for someone like Jaquez. Just before the Heat picked him, the LA Lakers passed on Jaquez, which he saw as a blessing. Jaquez has stated that he was glad that the Lakers didn't pick him, otherwise he would have ended up spending the majority of his basketball career in Southern California. But with the Heat, he had a chance to travel and live in a different place. Miami Heat is known for discovering diamonds in the rough and that is exactly what Jaquez was. He was a player ready to contribute to a winning team, and that's what he has shown so far with being named the Eastern Conference Rookie of the Month for games played in October-November. And when the lights were the brightest and everyone tuned in on Christmas Day to watch the Heat take on the Sixers, it was Jaquez who shined the brightest. He dropped his season high of 31 points on Philly and led the Heat, who were without their star Jimmy Butler, to a win. Before the draft, everyone talked about Wemby, Scoot, and Brandon Miller. Although Wemby has proven to be generational, Jaquez's elite play on a contending team could not be ignored, and he was rewarded for his efforts by moving all the way up to the third spot on the official NBA rookie ladder, behind Wemby and Chet Holmgren. Not too shabby for an 18th overall pick. Not only did Jaquez outperform his draft spot, but even his contract is looking like a steal for Miami. Number 3. NBA Contract Jaquez is signed to a four-year $16.9 million deal with the Heat. The good news is, is that every penny of that deal is guaranteed. The bad news is, is that Jaquez is playing way above his pay grade. But still, he is earning $4.2 million a year to play the game that he loves, so we can't feel too bad for him. Besides, once the deal is up, he will be eligible for a nearly $10 million deal, but in reality, if he continues to perform the way that he has been, he will be earning two or three times that. The future is definitely looking bright for the Jaquez household, and once you see who he grew up idolizing, it's no wonder he has been so great right off the bat. Number 2. Off the Court Every kid has a superhero that they look up to, and for Jaquez, that superhero was none other than basketball legend Kobe Bryant. Jaquez grew up a little over an hour from the Staples Center, so he watched a ton of Lakers games. And during that era, Kobe was the Lakers. Jaquez loved watching Black Mamba do his thing so much that for years afterward, he studied Kobe's footwork, especially the way he danced in the paint and scored so effortlessly. All that studying has paid off as Jaquez has pulled off Kobe-esque moves in the paint against top-tier NBA talent. 
When he isn't working on his game, Jaquez spends his time on social media. His Twitter has over 20,000 followers, while his Instagram has nearly 315,000. He occasionally posts about his endorsement deals with Hotel.com and the Jordan brand. Speaking of endorsements, let's take a look at Jaquez's net worth. Number 1. His Net Worth now, Hawkez is on a nearly $17 million deal in the NBA, but a lot of that money will end up going to taxes, unfortunately, but hey, that is how the cookie crumbles. However, the brand deals with the Jordan brand and Hotel.com will come in handy, but we don't know how much he's earning with those endorsements. But one thing Hawkez has, has going for him is fanfare. He has quickly become one of the best young players in the game, and his following has increased thanks to that. So he is sure to turn that following into cheddar and add to his net worth. But for now, we would estimate that his net worth is somewhere around the $5 million mark, as he is only in the first year of his deal.